A. A. What's up, guys? It's Mike and Andrew from the Earth's Mightiest Zeros, and we are here to give you our review of Kevin Smith's Yoga Hosers. Mike and I had the opportunity to go and see Yoga Hosers live at Cobb's Comedy Club in San Francisco, and the movie was preceded by an introduction by Kevin Smith himself and followed by a Q&A session, also by Kevin Smith himself. Kevin Smith came out and was like, this is the stupidest movie I've ever made. Kind of. Yeah. His goal with this movie was to make kind of the shitty, like late night, campy horror film that he liked growing up as a kid. This is the follow-up to a little movie called Tusk that came out in 2014. Um, some people who really like Kevin Smith like this movie. Everybody else really didn't like it at all. Long story short, Tusk is the predecessor to Yoga Hosers. Kevin Smith is working on a trilogy called the True North Trilogy, and Yoga Hosers is number two. Uh, it will be followed by Moose Jaws sometime in the near future, which is just Jaws with a moose. The Colleens, who are the main characters in Yoga Hosers, are kind of small side characters in Tusk. Um, and they meet up with a guy named Guy Lapointe, played by Johnny Depp, who is kind of this great mystical Canadian detective. Turns out Johnny Depp really liked playing that role, and Johnny Depp's kid, who is one of the yoga hosers, and Kevin Smith's kid, who is the other of the yoga hosers, really liked acting together. So Kevin Smith decided to make this movie as kind of like a big family fun fest. The other thing he mentioned is he set off and he said that he wanted this to be a kid's movie. And he hasn't really done a kid's movie before. I don't know if this is really yeah. a kid's movie. He still but, hasn't done a kid's movie, to be honest. Yeah, but you know, in his mind, this is about as kid's movie as a Kevin Smith movie could be. I yeah. Guess. I think for him, a kid's movie is a movie where you don't say fuck every five seconds. He also mentioned that his wife was kind of complaining that he took his daughter to a bunch of superhero movies and she didn't really like that because there were no positive female role models in those movies. And so Kevin Smith wanted to make this movie with strong female leads so that little girls, probably more like 16 to 18 year old girls, would have somebody to look up to. So Yoga Hosers takes place in Manitoba. It surrounds these two characters, the two Colleens, and basically they have to fight these little foot tall Nazis made of bratwurst. And that is about all you can say about this plot other, you know, without spoiling any twists or anything. It's a weird fucking movie. Right. Go into it. Knowing it's going to be weird, knowing it's going to be probably the stupidest thing you've ever seen, and I think you will enjoy it. Yeah. And also, it's two girls standing behind the counter of a convenience store talking about nothing. It's clerks with girls. In Canada and Nazis. The main plot points of the movie, without giving anything away, are that the uh, the girls are sophomores and they get invited to a senior party. Woo! Big news, right? Uh, they can't go, though, because they have to work that night. And at work, they are essentially witnesses to these murders that lead to this other string of murders, gets them involved with the detective Guy Lapointe, and they are on the trail of what's going on in Canada. And they do yoga. That is important. The acting in this movie, I was actually kind of impressed by. Yeah. I, I thought Harley and Lily Rose were going to be a little bit cheesy. Yeah. They were pretty good. Everybody was... As convincing as a, like, tween comedy from the mid-90s, right. like, could have been. It, it fits perfectly. It's super cheesy. Like, the acting right. is super cheesy, but it's cheesy for a reason. And it's exactly – you can tell it's exactly what Kevin Smith right. wanted to well, make. Well, and Kevin Smith does a thing in his movies where it's obviously artifice, yeah. right? Like, the characters don't talk like people actually talk for the most part, right? They talk in kind of a weird pseudo-elevated way. And that carries through into this movie a little bit. The characters in this movie also talk in a really exaggerated Canadian way, which is kind of awesome. Um, it can get a little bit kind of grinding at times, I think. But yeah, for the but most part, it. it's pretty cool. Um, we're big Canada fans here at EMZ. Uh, so we like that part of it. Apart from the girls, who like stood out to you in this? Um, to be honest, uh, Haley Joel Osment's little kind of weird cameo-ish role there some was awesome. awesome. There were some awesome um, cameos. There are some great cameos. Kevin Smith is bringing back a lot of people who appeared in Tusk mm -hmm. and some of his other movies. Jason Mewes obviously is going to be in this, right? Um, and so 
a lot of those characters were really good. I thought Tony Hale was pretty over the top, but I think it worked. Yeah. Um, uh, the person who stood out to me most was Ralph Garman. He like stole the movie for me and I didn't actually expect him to be in the movie. Yeah. I thought maybe he was going to have like a little tiny cameo, but he had a pretty big, important role and he nailed it. Right. Like, he stole the movie almost for yeah. me. Well, it turns out he wasn't supposed to have that role. Yeah. And he kind of fell into it. And I'm glad that he did because it was fucking awesome. Um, yeah. I personally, one of my favorite roles in the movie that I thought was completely underutilized was Adam Brody's um, fucking drummer guy. Yeah. I, uh, I Ichabod. Agree. Yeah. Oh, I my agree. God. He's in it for like a minute and a half. And it's the best fucking minute and a half. It's awesome. It's so good. What were your favorite, like, things in this movie? I mean, it was funny, which is what I expect from Kevin Smith, right? It was campy, which is what I expected from the movie. Yeah. And so I enjoyed that a lot. But I also liked all just, like, the Canadian humor, all the hockey references thrown in. Um, There were some really cool kind of adaptations of hockey songs that I listened to as a kid that made me happy to hear. Yeah. Yeah, I had an absolute blast with this movie. I was not expecting much from this movie. Like, the trailers really didn't do it for me. Right. Um, I was excited to see it because I love Kevin Smith. Yeah. But, like, I was pleasantly surprised. I had just a total blast. Like, I I suggest finding a theater by you that serves alcohol. And yes. have a couple of beers and watch this movie. I think that you will have a total blast. Yeah. Go into it knowing that you're going to be watching something totally zany and fucked up. And you'll love it. In terms of things that we didn't really like, what stood out Sure. To you? It is definitely not a perfect movie by any means. So there definitely was a few things that kind of stood out. There was like some plot holes and like just like some little transitions and little things that I felt like he put in there just forcefully almost. Yeah, things. there were things that could have been done differently or better. I think there might have been like a better solution for some of the, the roads that they went down. But that said, the movie's not really a plot strong movie anyway. Yeah, it's not it's not a movie that like you go in with like your critic hat on. Right. Like if you go in there and you're like, all right, I'm gonna try to pick apart this movie for everything, you're gonna hate it. Because yeah. it's a weird movie. It's super unconventional. There's no point in going into this being like, all right, this is gonna be a stupid, stupid movie and like have a really bad attitude. Yeah. I mean Really what it comes down to is if you're a Kevin Smith fan, you'll like this movie. If you're not a Kevin Smith fan, you will not like this movie. If you had to give the movie a letter grade, what would you give it? That's tough. I, I think probably a B. I, I definitely had an absolute blast. Probably one of the most fun times I've had at the movies in a while. But it's still, you know, it's not a perfect movie by any means. But I'll definitely, I definitely want to go watch it again. Um, cause there's a whole bunch of like really cool references and stuff. So I think it'd be, what about you? I'd give it an A. <laughs> no, not really. I'd probably give it like a B, but I had to make that joke. Cool. Well, when you guys see Yoga Hosers, please tell us in the comments below what you thought, what was your favorite cameo in the movie. And if you hated it, tell us you hated it. Um, that's totally okay. Movies are totally uh, subjective and, and that's what it's all yeah. about. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, hit like on this video because it really helps us out. And uh, check out our website, earthsmightyazeros.com, and we will see you next time. See you later, eh? Hey. Eh.